Saudi Arabia is embarking on a monumental project, constructing an artificial river that dwarfs the Nile in ambition and size, extending over 12,000 kilometers across its parched deserts. This colossal venture is not just about creating the world's longest underground canal, it's a groundbreaking endeavor to transform barren sands into fertile lands using advanced desalination technology. The project, unparalleled in scale, comes with a staggering budget that underscores the kingdom's commitment to overcoming its water scarcity challenges. By converting seawater into fresh water, the artificial river is poised to revolutionize agriculture and sustainability in one of the driest regions on the planet. With plans to irrigate vast expanses of desert, Saudi Arabia aims to secure its water and food needs and set a global benchmark in environmental innovation. Could this ambitious project turn the desert kingdom into an oasis of greenery and sustainability? And how exactly do they plan to do it? Saudi Arabia's journey with water has dramatically transformed over the past decades. Initially, the country relied on its local renewable water sources. This meant using natural water for small-scale farming and people's daily water needs. But as time passed, things started to change. The kingdom moved towards using water from two primary sources that weren't about to run out quickly. Desalinated water from the sea and ancient water buried deep in the ground, known as fossil groundwater. This shift was massive because it allowed Saudi Arabia to use water like countries with plenty of rain and rivers, supporting big farms and supplying water for homes, shops, and factories. Saudi Arabia has been very generous with water, making it very cheap for its people. This led to a significant increase in the amount of water being used, especially for farming. From 1980 to 1994, the water used in the country nearly tripled. But much of this water came from underground stores that can't be refilled. By 1995, the government had used up much of this precious water. For a long time, up until 1994, people in Saudi Arabia didn't have to pay for the water they used at home. It was completely free. But then, the government started charging a little bit for water use. In the early 2000s, the government started thinking differently about how to build and run water projects. They wanted help from businesses, not just in creating things like water plants, but also in paying for them and running them. Seeing the problem with using so much water, the government in 2000 started to cut back on how much money it gave to help with water costs. They encouraged farmers to use water more wisely, with new tools like drip irrigation that delivers water right to the roots of plants, and sensors that check how moist the soil is. This helped reduce the amount of water used for farming. Wheat farming, which used a lot of water, began to decrease. It went from producing 4 million tons of wheat in 1992 to stopping wheat farming altogether by 2016. With no natural rivers, the kingdom has historically relied on oil as its economic backbone and desalination plants to meet its water needs. However, recognizing the unstable nature of these solutions in the long term, Saudi Arabia is now poised to embark on a project that could redefine agriculture and water resource management in arid zones. This groundbreaking project involves the creation of the world's largest artificial river, an endeavor that is not only audacious in its scope, but also revolutionary in its approach. Stretching over 12,000 kilometers, this man-made marvel will be constructed underground, a first of its kind on such a scale. The project is expected to produce approximately 9.4 million cubic meters of water daily. Utilizing state-of-the-art desalination technology, this artificial river will draw its source from the Red Sea, converting saline water into a fresh, potable resource. The artificial river will navigate underground, designed to minimize evaporation losses, a critical consideration given the desert's extreme temperatures. Its width and depth are engineered to ensure a steady flow, capable of reaching various parts of the country, including its most arid regions. It is a bold step towards achieving agricultural self-sufficiency in a land where such a goal has seemed unattainable. 
By introducing a sustainable and reliable water source, Saudi Arabia hopes to cultivate greenery in its barren lands, thereby reducing its dependence on food imports and diversifying its economy away from oil. With a width of 11 meters and a depth of 4 meters, this artificial waterway is poised to surpass the iconic Nile River in scale. The project will incorporate specialized anti-corrosion pipes measuring 2.25 meters in diameter to facilitate freshwater transport across vast distances. This network of pipes is designed to be twice as long as the Nile River, emphasizing the project's monumental ambition. This feat of engineering is not just about creating a new water source, it's about reimagining water supply infrastructure on an unprecedented scale. The pipe system alone, if laid end-to-end, -end, could encircle the globe multiple times. Desalination, the process of removing salt and impurities from seawater, is at the heart of this project. Two main techniques are used, membrane desalination and thermal desalination. Each method has its unique process and application, contributing to the project's overall efficiency. Membrane desalination involves pushing seawater through a series of filters or membranes. These membranes allow water molecules to pass through while trapping salts, minerals, and other impurities. The result is clean, drinkable water. This process is highly efficient and can be operated at lower temperatures, making it a popular choice for large-scale desalination projects. Thermal desalination, on the other hand, works by heating the seawater. As the water heats up, it evaporates, leaving the salt and other minerals behind. The vapor then moves to a more relaxed area, condensing it into a liquid free of salt and impurities. This distilled water is then collected for use. While thermal desalination is more energy intensive than membrane filtration, it is effective and reliable, especially in regions with abundant energy resources. The Saline Water Conversion Corporation SWCC, a state-owned entity, plays a pivotal role in this achievement. It oversees desalinated water production across the kingdom, ensuring a steady supply of fresh water to meet the domestic needs of its rapidly growing population and industries. The SWCC operates several desalination plants along Saudi Arabia's eastern coast and other coastal regions contributing to the country's standing as the top producer of desalinated water globally. With an annual production exceeding 1.006 billion cubic meters, Saudi Arabia accounts for 18% of the world's desalinated water output. This massive volume of water is crucial for sustaining life and economic activities in a country where natural freshwater resources are virtually non-existent. The eastern coast plants generate 495.3 million cubic meters of this total, while the coastal stations contribute another 511.3 million cubic meters. The country's 27 desalination plants provide water and generate 24,884,807 megawatt hours of electrical energy, showcasing the integrated approach Saudi Arabia has taken towards addressing its water and energy needs simultaneously. This energy powers the energy-intensive desalination process and supports the kingdom's infrastructure, further highlighting the strategic importance of these plants to the nation's sustainability efforts. Despite the relative affordability of importing water, Saudi Arabia faces a pressing challenge with its reliance on a single economic asset, oil. The kingdom's economy is heavily dependent on oil revenues, which poses risks due to fluctuating global oil prices and the world's gradual shift towards renewable energy sources. Recognizing these vulnerabilities, Saudi Arabia has embarked on a mission to diversify its economy, reduce its oil dependency, and secure a more sustainable future for its citizens. This is where the Artificial River Project comes into play. By investing in such a vast and technologically advanced water resource management project, Saudi Arabia is not merely addressing its immediate water scarcity issues, it is laying the groundwork for agricultural development, another key pillar in its strategy for economic diversification. The vision to transform a desert kingdom into a land with one of the longest rivers made by humans is as bold as inspiring. 
What do you think about Saudi Arabia's initiative? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this video enlightening, remember to like, share, and subscribe for more insights and updates.